Hello, Survivor. My name is Bean, and today I'll go over some tips and tricks for dealing with the infected in DayZ. For the rest of this video, I'm going to call them zombies. Ooh, but they aren't zombies, they're infected. Which takes us straight into tip one. When you're in the object spawner to spawn in a zombie, you need to search for ZMB, which is short for zombie. A lot of the items have a completely different name in the files than what gets displayed to you in the game. There are different types of zombies, such as runners and screamers. The runners will run around like headless chickens and throw you off when you see one out the corner of your eye, making you think it was a player. The screamers will alert all the zombies in the surrounding area of your presence, and instead of having to deal with one zombie, you now have a horde chasing you down the street. You can defend yourself from zombies by blocking. To block, simply hold whatever button it is to raise your fists and walk backwards. On PC, this is right mouse and S. The zombies attacks won't hurt you while you're blocking unless one manages to get behind you. Instead of dealing with a horde and losing health, damaging your clothes and wasting ammo, you can simply trap zombies in buildings. It gets them out of the way and allows you to loot in peace. Zombies have a pattern. When they attack, they will perform two hits and then pause for a second, giving you enough time to get in a power hit, which will put the zombie into a stun lock, giving you more time to get in another power hit on them, or if you're out of stamina, multiple light hits. Aim for the head when hitting the zombies. Not only will it get them out of the way faster, but often they'll be wearing bags or vests, depending on the type of zombie, and if you hit them in the torso, it will badly damage or ruin the item that they are wearing. Zombies can also have food or tools in their inventory. There will be a plus symbol next to the word infected if they are carrying any loot. If you have a knife, you can stealth kill zombies. Creep up behind them and press the usual buttons you would to hit the zombie and your character will perform the stealth attack. You can throw items to distract zombies. Zombies react to sound like footsteps, voip, gunshots, etc. Hello there, officer. You look bloody fabulous today, sir. Yes, I'm talking to you. You look bloody lovely. Hello. Hello, sunshine. You can use sound to your advantage. For example, you can use the alarm clock or the food timer to distract them. Zombies have no stamina, meaning as long as you are in their line of sight, they will continue to chase you. Try to break line of sight to lose your unwanted friend. You can cover your tracks by burying zombies with a shovel, pickaxe or a farming hoe. Sometimes you may find yourself in a sticky situation and it may be worth just letting the zombies knock you unconscious. Once you're uncon, the zombies will leave you alone and walk away. Military zombies are stronger than the civilian zombies. The generals are screamers and the zombies wearing a plate carrier and a helmet are even stronger. You can tell if somebody's been nearby using the zombie's stance. If they look like they're carrying a roll of carpet underneath each arm, it means they've been aggroed and are on high alert. You can headshot zombies with a suppressed weapon, but space out your shots. Too many shots in a row and you will aggro the zombies giving yourself more of a problem than you had in the first place. Suppressors do not make your shots silent. Zombies can set off bear traps and landmines. They'll break their legs on the bear traps and the landmines will kill them. If 
If you've got any of your own tips for dealing with the infected, leave them down in the comments below. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, slap the subscribe button, click the ding dong and give it a like.